what's up, Stephanie the English Coach here from EnglishFullTime.com. Recently, I got a message on Instagram from a woman who's saying she's really frustrated because she can't seem to build her vocabulary. And in her native language, she loves having deep conversations about all kinds of things, her ideas, her beliefs, psychology, etc. But in English, she feels like she can't even have these conversations because, again, she just doesn't have the words. So. In this video, I'm going to give you guys one of the most powerful ways to build your vocabulary. Now, what am I talking about? I am talking about reading. It has been proven that people who read more tend to have bigger vocabularies than people who don't read. And the more you read, the bigger your vocabulary. So this makes a lot of sense. When you're reading something, there are so many words right there and you're consuming all of them. And if you don't understand what something means, you look it up in the dictionary so that you can understand the idea of whatever it is you're reading. And then the more you read, the more you encounter the same words over and over and over again until those words get stored in your long-term memory. Remember, the first time that you see a word, the second, the third, even the 10th time, the word doesn't necessarily make its way to your long-term memory. You have to see something and be exposed to it time and time again for you to be able to access that information just like that, okay? So the more you read, the more words you will add to your vocabulary. Also, another thing for you to think about is when writers are writing, the only thing that they have to communicate their ideas is words on a paper. They can't use their tone, they can't use the volume of their voice, they can't use body language. So they are limited, they are highly limited to that, to just the words on a piece of paper. So they have to be very precise with their language. Every sentence is measured. They can't have unnecessary words there. They can't have any words that are gonna confuse the reader. The words have to be precise so that they say exactly what they wanna say and how they wanna say it. The sentences have to be precise so that it builds the correct argument or expresses the idea accurately. Everything has to be logical about what they do. And the more you consume this type of language, professional writing written either in books, novels, magazines, etc., the more you are going to subconsciously incorporate that into your own language skills. So again, reading is one of the most powerful ways to build your vocabulary. Now, I have more that I wanna say about this, but before I do, I just wanna introduce you guys to the sponsor of this video. I'm really excited to share this with you because they can really help you improve your vocabulary through reading books that you enjoy. So here we go. Blinkist is the only app that takes the best insights from thousands of top nonfiction books and condenses them down to just 15 minutes that you can read or listen to. You can get a free book every day or with their premium version, you can get full access to their massive library that contains books on everything from self-help and business to health and history. Right now, for a limited time, you can start a free seven-day trial using the link below. The first 100 people to take advantage of this offer will also be eligible to get 25 percent off an annual membership. Just go to Blinkist.com slash The English Coach. That's Blinkist, B-L-I-N-K-I-S-T dot com slash The English Coach. Your seven-day trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed that. Another reason why I like Blinkist so much is because it's just so convenient. I wish I had more time to read, but honestly, I don't. At the same time though, I'm trying to learn as much as possible because I believe that the more I learn, the more successful I can be in the things that I do. So again, you can get a free book every day with this app and you can just study that free book, read it, listen to it, highlight the new words, write them down, start learning them. And again, the more you read, the more vocabulary you're gonna incorporate. Or you can get their premium version and just have unlimited access. That's awesome because when I go for a walk, I can listen to four different books and I learn so much through doing this. I really love this app, you guys, and I would not share it with you if I didn't. And with that said, I just wanna let you know that I have a big list of book recommendations from their app that I've already listened to and love, but a few of them are Story Worthy, which is about um, telling stories, the art of public speaking, I think everyone should read that one, Never Split the Difference, which is about negotiations, Essentialism, which is about time management, really great book, and then of course, the book that I always recommend to everyone, How to Win Friends and Influence People, that is a must read. 
So now let's talk a little bit about fiction versus nonfiction. It's been proven that people who read more fiction tend to have a bigger vocabulary than just people who read nonfiction. Now, why is this? Because in fiction books, the author is much more descriptive. They're describing scenes, they're describing events, they're describing dialogue, it's a story. So because of that, fiction in general has a much wider variety of words than nonfiction. With that said though, if you are struggling to have conversations in English, I highly recommend that you start by reading lots of nonfiction because in fiction, authors are sometimes so descriptive that sentences sound long and poetic and the words that are used aren't always the words that people use in everyday life. And if you don't know that and you start incorporating all of that into your speech, you might sound a little bit awkward. So I recommend that you start with nonfiction, read lots of nonfiction about all the things you already know and enjoy and use in your native language. And then you can tell other people about what you read. You can even start a book club if you want, or talk to a friend, talk to someone else who enjoys the same topics as you and say, Hey, recently I read this book about X, Y, Z, whatever it is, and tell them what you learned. Telling other people what you learned is one of the best ways to incorporate knowledge into your long-term memory. If you just read it and consume it, that's not as powerful as reading it, consuming it, and then telling someone else about it or sharing it with someone else. Okay. Remember that. So when I read books, I actually tell my husband Renzo, I say, okay, I read a book today. This is what I learned. And I tell him the points that I thought were really interesting to me because I know that by telling him and communicating them, I'm going over them again in my mind and I'm more likely to remember them. And I don't want to forget the stuff that I read because a lot of it is really, really powerful. So sometimes I even read the same book more than once. Actually, I do that now that I have the Blinkist app because before this, I literally did not have time. And the, the idea of reading one book, I'm also kind of a slow reader. I just would avoid it completely. But now that I know, hey, in 15 minutes, I can have a book read. I listen to books all the time, which is good because I really am learning a lot. So it's awesome. Okay, so that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to talk about. But now I wanna hear from you. If you have any other ideas about why reading specific specifically is so powerful for building vocabulary, anything aside from what I've already mentioned, please share it with us in the comments. I'm sure there are other studies that have been done that I don't know about that explain in even more detail why reading is so powerful for building vocabulary. But yes, let's discuss it in the comments. And if you want more help with your English, or if you want to learn about my online courses, go to EnglishFullTime.com. I will also link a guide in the comments. It's a simple guide to practicing your English with native speakers. I wrote it. It has helped thousands of people. And it's basically about how to connect with native English speakers online so that you can practice and improve your English. Again, everything that I've mentioned in this video, all the links are going to be in the description. So be sure to check that out. Sign up for Blinkist and let me know in the comments what you think about it. Okay. That's it. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.